March is here. The year is cruising along. Are we making the most of the opportunities we get every day? The present is now. Time to turn it over and get into faith. Firm belief in something for which there is no proof. Yet, when we have real faith, we feel absolutely positive about it. First, we'll start with a serenity prayer. Today's reading from the 24 Hours a Day book, a share, then the reading again in case you got distracted. Carpe the diem. Enjoy. God, grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change, courage to change the things I can, and the wisdom to know the difference. Grant me patience with the struggles that take time, and appreciation for all that I have, tolerance of those with different struggles, and the strength to get up and try again, one day at a time. Consider, what is our priority today? March 28th, Thought for the Day. When you come into an Alcoholics Anonymous meeting, you're not just coming into a meeting, you're coming into a new life. I'm always impressed by the change I see in people after they've been in AA for a while. I sometimes take an inventory of myself to see whether I have changed, and if so, in what way. Before I met AA, I was very selfish. I wanted my own way in everything. I don't believe I ever grew up. When things went wrong, I sulked like a spoiled child and often went out and got drunk. Am I still all get and no give? Meditation for the day. There are two things that we must have if we are going to change our way of life. One is faith, the confidence in things unseen, the fundamental goodness and purpose in the universe. The other is obedience, that is, living according to our faith living each day as we believe that God wants us to live, with gratitude, humility, honesty, purity, unselfishness, and love. Faith and obedience, these two, will give us all the strength we need to overcome sin and temptation and to live a new and more abundant life. Prayer for the day. I pray that I may have more faith and obedience. I pray that I may live a more abundant life as a result of these things. I came to get, I stayed to give. Great placard on the wall of an AA meeting. We came for our drinking, we stayed for our thinking. That sums up the program. We are all King Baby, all of us. We thought the world should revolve around us and we did everything we could to make that happen, usually passive-aggressively. People rejected us. We had resentments, and we were unhappy, so we drank. Spiraling down into more self-pity, we blamed others for our actions and outcomes. Pour me, pour me, pour me a drink. We entered the rooms of AA on another stretch of bad luck. Could have happened to anyone, we said. Why does it always seem to happen to us? When we click in AA, we realize we want our lives to change entirely not merely our current situation, not just getting the job back, the spouse back, the legal case dropped. All would be great, but those are all temporary fixes to things outside of ourselves. We need to fix our internals. Now we know we want our internals to change, and our solution is learned in AA. We believe that to our core. So we do what is suggested. We find God. We clean house and we eventually come to love helping others. It is easy now to be helpful to others, to be faithful to doing the next right thing in line with what we believe our higher power would have us do. Easy because our perspective to life is now others-focused. Our selfishness is diminished, which sharpens our vision to focus on how we can be helpful to others. We had no idea this shift would happen, when we came in to our first AA meeting on our losing streak. We wanted to be fixed, and we were, just not in the way we thought. Thank God it didn't happen the way we imagined. We would have been cheated. Today, we have a new pair of glasses. We remember, he is the director. He is the principal, and we are his agent. Consider, what is our priority today? March 28th. Thought for the day. When you come into an Alcoholics Anonymous meeting, 
you're not just coming into a meeting, you're coming into a new life. I'm always impressed by the change I see in people after they've been in AA for a while. I sometimes take an inventory of myself to see whether I have changed, and if so, in what way. Before I met AA, I was very selfish. I wanted my own way in everything. I don't believe I ever grew up. When things went wrong, I sulked like a spoiled child and often went out and got drunk. Am I still all get and no give? Meditation for the day. There are two things that we must have if we are going to change our way of life. One is faith, the confidence in things unseen, the fundamental goodness and purpose in the universe. The other is obedience, that is, living according to our faith, living each day as we believe that God wants us to live, with gratitude, humility, honesty, purity, unselfishness, and love. Faith and obedience, these two, will give us all the strength we need to overcome sin and temptation and to live a new and more abundant life. Prayer for the day. I pray that I may have more faith and obedience. I pray that I may live a more abundant life as a result of these things. Please subscribe for more videos. Thank you for watching.